standard form is a way of writing numbers that are very large, like the distance from Earth to Mars, or very small, like the radius of an atom, in a form where calculations can be done easily. The definition of standard form is the following. A number is in standard form if it is written as a times 10 to the power of n, where a is greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10, and n is a whole number. So the first example, if we have the number 1 times 10 to the power of 3, then this number is in standard form, since remember, we need a to be a whole number or a decimal that's greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. 1 is equal to 1. And we need n to be a whole number. And this can be positive or negative. 3 is a whole number, and so this number is in standard form. Another example, if we have the number 4 times 10 to the power of minus 12, the number in front of our 10, the 4, is between 1 and 10. We also have that n, our power, is a whole number, and it can be negative. So 7.56 times 10 to the power of 0, we need a whole number or a decimal that's between 1 and 10. 7.56 is between 1 and 10. And then our power needs to be a whole number. 0 is a whole number. And then one last example. If we have 9.9987 times 10 to the power of minus 263. Our number in front of the 10 is a number between 1 and 10. So 9.9987. And our power is also a whole number, minus 263. Let's look at some non-examples now. So to start off with, 4 times 10 to the power of minus 2.5. Now the reason this number is not in standard form is because of the power. Remember, the power needs to be a whole number. Minus 2.5 is not a whole number. Everything else apart from that is completely fine. So the 4 in front is a whole number. We're multiplying by a power of 10, but the power is a decimal. It's not a whole number. We need it to be a whole number for this to be in standard form. Another example, 6.25 times 10 to the power of 4 over 2. Now again, this number looks like it's almost in standard form, but it's not quite. So the number in front, we've got... 6.25, which is a number between 1 and 10. We're multiplying by a power of 10. However, the power, remember, needs to be a whole number. 4 over 2 is a fraction. It's not a whole number. This can be written in standard form if we were to write 4 over 2 as 2, since 4 divided by 2 gives us 2. 3 over 2 times 10 to the power of 11. So again, looking at this number, we're multiplying by a power of 10. Our power is a whole number. However, the number in front isn't a decimal or a whole number between 1 and 10. 3 over 2 is a fraction. We need it to be a decimal or a whole number. We could write this in standard form if we were to write 3 over 2 as 1.5. If we have 10 times 10 to the power of 3, then this number is not in standard form. The number in front needs to be a number that's greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. We can't have a number in front that's equal to 10. Otherwise, we've got a power of 10 that is a whole number. However, the number in front does not satisfy this inequality. We could write this in standard form if we were to multiply this out. 10 times 10 to the power of 3 is 10 to the power of 4. That's the same as 1 times 10 to the power of 4. However, in its current form, 10 times 10 to the power of 3 is not in standard form.